It's a, it's a defective one. Okay, everything that everybody's okay. saying is being recorded now. So <laughs> you're all, all for posterior. Mm. <laughs> for posterior, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> for posterior? What? Okay. <laughs> this, this oh, is I'm, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's what uh, I said, though. This is called Mourner's Pass. Mm. So we did so, like it's a little science fiction oh, exercise yeah. that I had working when I was in class. And, well, I, I reworked okay. it a little bit to make it more of a story. Somebody ask about dimming the lights? I oh, need, need them to see them. them. Yes. This one? Uh, yeah, that would be that yeah, switch, a little, Martin, a little dimmer. Martin, Martin, don't you need it to, to do yeah. the video, though? Yeah, it would be really dark. Here, you, yeah, yeah, I probably need the light. Let's leave the light for right now. I need now. the light for the... Oh, I need, okay. may need it for the camera. You will. Okay. Don't get up again. <laughs> Stay right there. Thank you. <laughs> okay, 30 creatures, 30 creatures lope across the waste. In sync, they are, cru they are a crusting wave, a surging breaker, which crashes up onto the massive rough edge boulders. These rocks guard and separate the world she is a part of from the world beyond. Mourners pass. The wave splatters into its separate entities. The perch, the spill perched and draped over the rocks. With 59 corrupted yellow eyes, it watches her as one. The three other creatures directly block the constricted path. From a distance, they resemble misshapen, luring, gray men. As one, they taste her approach. Their snaky thin fingers terminate in long, slashing, Italians, restless and clicking. The largest, the one with the war axe, naked, pathologically grinning, stands feet wide apart, centered in the middle of the root path. The wave of misshapen, not humans, note her light armor and the half shield tugging down at her belt, her patient match swords, the bow, the bow and quiver on her back that peer over her shoulders in easy reach. The wave slathers at the elven shape of her ears that protrude tastily from beneath the silver black straight hair. The shape of her weathered round legs and arms and the succulent meat that lurks beneath the still taunt seasoned skin. They love nothing better in all the world than elf meat. Threatening clouds gyrate blackly around the ruined landscape, bringing along wind and this despair of dust for sparse grasses and babbles thrust thirsting amid the stones and sand. She does not deviate from her course and does not change her league consuming gait. <coughs> she interrupts her hands mid-movement before they can touch the wrapped steel pummels of her twin blaster, bastard swords. Patience, no need to rush, she chides herself. She steps over the heavy gray spike line that are single-mindedly scavenging and stretching across the worn meandering path she follows. A spike dart lands at her feet, a warning shot above, across her bow. She grinds it to dust with her hard-toed boots as her momentum carries her to within earshot, like a train. She pulls the bowl from her back and snatches a Reuben generous flighted arrow. She uses its, its lusty, sharp arrowhead to slice a dripping gash in her arm. Ugh. Her eager tongue licks the self-inflicted yeah. wound. Her face changes as a thought crosses her mind. A cavernous smile, a carnivorous smile, darkens her lion face as she replaces the bow and arrow. Axe wielder turns his head to view something interesting in the distance, a dead tree, <laughs> carrying birds feeding. You are late, Frau Brucker. His, his voice is grinding gravel. Silence follows, but for the distant laughter of serpent crows. Her old voice lays flat. Didn't know I was famous. Who told you? Offhanded, curious. 
The one-eyed creature on his left eagerly grunts, high-pitched and fawning. The emperor sent word. Axe snakes out his weapon and strikes him with his fl with a flat side. One eye drops like a stone. Mm. Dust settles. Axe glances down at him before his attention snaps back, like daggers at the woman. She smiles patiently, or pleasantly. Let me pass, and I won't tell him I saw you. After a pause, like she just thought of it, she continues, Cobalt's like rubies, sapphires and such. This is so? I have some for them. She pulls out a little small leather pouch from a pocket. She waves the pouch, pours out and sparkles into her waiting hand. Consider it as a gift or a bribe. The reaction of the breaker of cobalts is immediate, <coughs> like showing a stake to lions. But Axe raises a hand. His voice, a cold, stricturing command in an unpronounceable tongue. The wave grudgingly subsides. <coughs> they do, but I am not cobalt. He spits on the ground. My sire raped a human, a woman. His yellow eyes widen impossibly, presenting long, wet teeth. She imagines she can smell the reek of his breath, even from here. I killed her when I was of age, he continues. How big is your army? The world pauses. With no discernible signal, the wave stirs. Zubalain waters tumulted from below by unseen monsters. The smile of a raptor splits her face. They are behaving as she expects. She waits, looking calm, but her long <coughs> nailed fingers itch and click like hot steel. A poison-tipped spear descends two heavy meters of death. It comes within an eyelash of striking your face but as passes by uninterrupted, ignored. She is thinking about the emperor and how he has annoyed her possibly for the last time. Bless him. Watching the advancing horde, she considers him. A few pathetic shadows spawn is not a worthy gift, but that one with the axe, who right now stands in the center of mourner's pass as this troop of cobalts rush at her. Might be is interesting, tasty, satisfying. Another spear descends. Its trajectory will cause it to strike her in the epicenter of her chest if it is not stopped. But it rots away before it touches her. Its spearhead turns to flakes of rust that dissipate like a morning mist, tickles her nose. She nearly sneezes. As the first wave of the horde reaches nearer, the <coughs> swords, appear, swords appear in her chalice hand and blurs into action. She thinks, about time I get some exercise. <laughs> <laughs> Third. <laughs> 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 you do certainly gotta do something. Yeah.